Hello, hello, my crafty friends. I hope that you're all doing good this Monday. Let's see if I can't find my, oh no. Sorry, I messed myself up. But the great news is, is I found myself and that's a beautiful thing. Say hello when you guys join. Let me dump this in my group really quick. I'm on a little bit early, which is kind of gives me a little bit of time to just get things posted where I need to have them. All right. And to straighten out my desk, because I, I struggle with this uh be in straight business. <laughs> okay. Let me step up on my stool here. See if I can't get this to be straight. Oh, well, that's a little bit better. That'll work. You know, they say that'll do in sheep herding. I'm using my stool as like a temporary stashing place for a whole bunch of stuff. Hey, Miss Die, how are you? How was your weekend? I'm going to grab my stuff. It looks good. You like the cards? Yeah, that hot mess that I had going on earlier. Yeah. We sure did have some fun. And I'll bring it all up and show you guys as you kind of get on here. Say hello. And I found some shimmer trims that I thought might work. Be kind of okay with some of this. So I found that, that's the pine, and then I found the rose gold, which is kind of not quite coppery enough. Hey, Miss Connie, how are you? And then I found this um, Seabrook, which I think is really, oh, I don't know, that's kind of a, kind of goes with that, sort of. More so with that. So, you know, my stash of what I could use keeps growing. Hey, Sue, is this fall enough for you, honey? Trying to see if there's anything else I think might work really well. Enough gold in here. I thought I had gold somewhere because I had it out and I was using it earlier. Some silver and some gold. I could have sworn I had an open gold somewhere. Hmm. So let me pop this one open. We're going to play with this and, you know, this was really a lot of fun, a lot of hot mess. Glad for the idea. Um, next Thursday, um, this week, Thursday, um, die, I'm going to do some flip-flop shaker and a flip-flops on um, a scrapbook page. So, hi, Erica. Oh my gosh, how are you doing? So stay tuned for um, that. Um, I'll let Tony, no, you can let Tony know. So we're going to make some cards here. With the, Here we go. A couple of different things. And these are the bases to make each card. We'll see how far we get. Um, there's links to the paper. This paper's all out. I'm so sad that this paper's out. Um, but there's that. Hey, Jenny, how are you? How are the Carolinas treating you? Thanks, Di. Bunch of pretty stuff here. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Here is actually totally exciting to know. What I didn't know, I was just experimenting with this, 
is their inks being there being um, Stampin' Ups ha are like Distress Oxide inks. Look at how they react. Nice with a little bit of water. Let me see, bring that up so you guys can see it. Super nice to do. And then we're gonna make this card or some variation. You know, things always change, right? As I get going. All right, so let's stack these up. What are your favorite? Which one's your favorite? Which one should we start with while I start pulling some stuff out? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Put a vote which one you want to start first. So I have all of my little containers. Save your containers, guys. You never know what you're going to use them for. So five, one, one for Connie. All right. Have some little extra. So I die cut it away, you guys. So two for one here. Five. Okay, so we have four of you who voted, and we're on to these two, and it's a tie. Uh-oh. My cards are falling apart here. So let's put these up here. All right. Dina or Jen, let's see, Jenny voted already, and Connie voted. So, Dina, break the tie. Do you want one or five? Well, we wait to see what Dina likes. The good news is we can make both those cards. I went through and I grabbed a bunch of colors out of the um, cardstock that I thought were fall-ish. So don't ask me their names because, you know, that's eggplant, but I don't, I know it's not eggplant. I think it's the blackberry bliss. Oh, oh, I can show you that and that'll, this one, got it. And five it shall be. And then we'll do this one after five. So I used a number of embossing folders here, guys. I have to put links up. I only put the paper links up. I forgot about the embossing folders. Um, changing leaves I did put up. Changing leaves, by the way, is an interactive um, embossing folder or a multi-purpose embossing folder, which means that there are dies that you can use to cut the leaves out. You want to make sure you make your sandwich right. And... I keep the die into here because this folder will not fit into one of our, um, the old stamp folders from CTMH. So what this means is, is that the same time you can cut and emboss. And this sits in here like this. And then I recommend you stick your paper in like that. Close it. Hello, Bernice. How are you? Make sure you make your sandwich right because this is a pretty thick folder. You guys are probably going to hear this machine. So I'm going to use the, my base platform and then this little, whatever they call it, shim thing. And then a plate on top. I'm going to scoop this in because there's dies or there's metal dies in this. It sticks really tight. I am a very big fan of using metal. I'm going to run it in and out really quick. Maybe. What did I do wrong here? I may not have made my sandwich right. It looks like I didn't make my sandwich right. What did I do wrong? Oh, I have the wrong... Um, hold on, guys. I have the wrong platform. I need my other platform on. So directions on the platforms are super duper helper, helpful, guys. This is for a regular one. When you have a embossing folder that's bigger, you do need to change your and use one that is not as strong or on this thick. 
you can't use the bot the bottom plate. Trust me, it doesn't work. There we go. So don't use your met metal one on this. And I'm using a big stock switch because sorry about this, guys. And then, of course, because I'm a waste not, want not, I cut out all of the extras out of here, too. I'll show you. So you'll see I have, like, tons of pieces in here because I went and I took the folders and I cut out the scraps. So you pop this open. See? That. And this pops out of there. And I didn't, I backed it out too soon. And normally I do a double pass, but I'll line this back up and send it through again. It will emboss all of that. And you'll see that you get some really pretty things. But don't do quite. Yes, right. There are always issues when you're on live. Yes. For those of you guys that have been around for a while, you know that that's the way this works. It has two great pieces or um, three nice pieces for making your... Um, sentiments or doing other things. I saw some really cute things done with it. I also had out this, which is birch wood, which you'll see show up. Hello, Regina. You'll see this one show up in September and leaf fall 3D embossing folder, which is one that they had and what um, available for a while. But what I did is I put pieces in this and I ran the pieces through this and then ran it through. So just different ways to use stuff y'all already got. Because I'm sure you guys, some of you guys have to have that leaf fall because that was around, that's been around for a little bit. All right, getting rid of this. Let's sit down and make a card or two. Yeah, so this helps me line up and particularly with this card. I pulled out, um, oh shoot, it's not wild wheat. It's one of the beige colors, you guys. <laughs> and I thought we would just do a couple of, you know, little things that are differently. This is your standard card here. A5. And make sure this is lined up on the bottom. Then I'm going to go up three quarters of an inch. And I'm gonna put my first piece, which is my larger piece of green on here. Yeah, actually I had a great time doing tons of die cutting from cardstock, from the specialty papers. Uh, yeah, I went a little nuts. And we're gonna make the scrapbook layout and the shaker card from Using all of this stuff since I already have it done. I need to trim this off. Um, have this. And you know, sadly, the thing about close to my heart paper is that it is white core. So I went and I did this and I was sanding the cardstock and I didn't get a white core out of it. I totally forgot. But if you guys have seen some of my news updates, there is going to be a scrapbooking line that will launch here in a little bit. I think I did that. I do with three quarters of an inch or one inch down. One inch down. And I am excited to see that. And part of that release is two toned cardstock, which will be white core. And, but they are not picking up the CTMH palette. They are going to use the close, or the, I'm sorry, the Stampin' Up! palette. Oh my gosh, you guys. I had a great fun cutting and making leaves. Um, almost more fun than making the cards because it was so fun just to see what you could create. I'm going to flip this over and trim this off. And I'm going to use that edge of that card as my guide, if you will. Make sure I cut straight. If you ever have trouble like that, that's an easy fix. 
These leaves are part of the stuff coming out called Woven Golden Leaves. So they're coming soon, guys. And again, it's $16.40.59. I, I had a lot that I missed, actually. I didn't realize I'd missed so much stuff, if you will. And I liked glue dots, guys, for putting some of this down. And I want the larger glue dots. Baby glue dots. And here we go. And here you're just going to make this collage of stuff. There's no right or wrong. You just kind of dump it down into here. Glue dots do make it permanent, so work with what you did. <laughs> Stop teasing you. You know, the last release I got um, was the July-August stuff that came out. And because of everything going on in Montana... And running back and forth i did not get to do a whole bunch with that so i was like skip that let's go to this this is uh fall is fun right changing leaves came out pretty sure we got that of course i could have this all mixed up because we do so many different things all right we got one two i know i saw another one on the loose here it is three these go down and I wanted the leaves to be of all different directions to not have sort of a rhyme or reason for this and the gray one or the, yeah it's going to go up here like that and then I'm going to take my 3d dimensionals which were down here we have pieces to use here so that I waste not, want not. Oh, you got your catalog last week. Okay, so this is good. So people are getting their catalogs. Bernice, have you seen your catalog? Regina, you should have gotten one. Di, you should have yours. I'm trying to see. Dina should have hers. I got mine last week, too. I don't know what the rules are because I thought we weren't supposed to show it, but then I saw that somebody else showed it. So I'm not totally sure. Not showed it, showed it, but showed um like the cover of it. You Oh, you've got one, Jenny. Awesome. You got your... Okay, so they're showing up. This is good. I worry about that. Heck yeah. Right? All right. And I'm going to set that there. And this cute little guy is going to go underneath here because I thought it was going to be cute to have it just sort of sit high and low. And I want to put some more stuff under there. It's not available till September 1st or 5th, guys. They don't do things on the 1st. They pay differently, they release things differently, and I still haven't quite got the hang of it. I did hear that they were going to make it the fifth across the board, so like we knew, like we knew what to tell our customers in a nutshell. Okay, before that gets stuck down. Look at that. So you got a little bit of up and down and all around for it to look really cute. Um, these embellishments are available. These are, um, this time I got smart, you guys. These are the adhesive backed metallic gems and they are a rose gold, gold and silver. And they're like $16.37.80. My $11 is with shipping, handling and tax put in. So $16.37.80. We do not have a income tax here, but we definitely have a sales tax. So it's a little bit higher than the rest of the country, being almost 9%. But again, you know, you can choose what you buy and don't buy. Taxes are taxes. This is a white jelly roll pen at one. And I like it. 
And what I got to do here, I, on some of these, I, I did different card backs because I couldn't decide which one I liked better color-wise when I lined up the different colored leaves and things. And we have some gold and we have some silver in here. And we're going to add some copper too, so I'm going to use all of the above. Grab this. And we're just going to make sets of three. Kind of all about this. Maybe down here. Remember, there's no real rhyme or reason. You just want to use sets of threes in some kind of triangle formulation. Some people are like, oh, I only want to put you know, a little bit of this on there. I don't want to put all that, but embellish to your heart's content is sort of my theme and world. And I like a lot of stuff. So there's card number one. I have to take pictures of these. Is G birthday? Wow. How old will she be? What grade is she going into? So let's go to card number one. What do you guys think? Everybody, so you have a very, you know, I feel like this is a little more feminine. This is a little more masculine. So you could just send that out. Maybe the purple takes the masculine away, but we could try. We can shoot for it. And this is a collage of all this stuff that's running around here. Gold leaves and, you know, these are the leaves that are cut out of the embossing folder with the um, die cuts that go inside it and kind of gives you an idea. And then I went through and cut out all the extra embossing leaves. Started fifth grade. Oh, um, these are just super duper cute. And I just didn't want to waste them. And once you've cut up the sheet, it's kind of hard to put it all back together. These are the oxidized, copper oxidized paper. Oh, I forgot to put an inside on the other one. I started off so good. And here are all my pieces that I picked out ahead of time just so that we'd have that done. And I'll put this on. What did I do on the inside here? Oh, yeah, I stamped that. Okay. Oh, I think I was playing with some of these and forgot to glue them down. So I'll have to go back and glue that together a little bit. All right. So on this, I'm going to take my big, beautiful stamp here. And I need to have my scratch paper. And this. I'm going to match the outer color which is, in this case, Pretty Peacock. And like I, this stuff, you do not have to ink heavy, guys. I tell you, it does not take nothing like the stamp stamp thing here. Oops. I stamped off. They grow up too fast. I have one working on our driver's license right now, for heaven's sakes. How crazy is that? Then I'm going to grab my brown because everything here is sort of fallish. Line this up. If you don't, if you want really straight lines, use your T ruler to do that. And let's put this in here, one piece out of the way. So if you guys like the pretty peacock 
Or do you like the shoot Blackberry Bliss? Guys, I have such a hard time. I definitely like only getting a few new colors and not a whole bunch of new colors at once. So now we're just going to kind of make a collage. There's not, again, not a right or a wrong. We're just going to add some things onto here. And this time, because I'm not just kind of like adding to it as I go along. Hmm. I'm going to get some more of my gold leaves. I do love that there are a ton. I close my ink pad. Are you afraid that I'm going to get stuff places die? Look at that. I didn't even get any on me. So I have to confess, I really, really like the uh, sponge. And we're going to add another couple of these guys. As I said, there are lots of these leaves in a package. Very generous. Um, yeah, it's... And I love red. I have always loved red with turquoise or peacock or whatever. And this is not the real red. This is the cherry cobbler red. Cherry cobbler red has a little bit more of a blue tint to it. And that makes it kind of fun. Uh, how did I decide what I was going to cut and stock up on? In the essence of these leaves things, I just wanted to have lots of choices of colors and papers that I thought were out of me. So like, like these are cardstock out of me. This is actually um, from one of the paper packs, Regals, that's going to come out. This is from Oxidized Paper. This is a sample of the regals I cut. Yes, I will. Um, I need to finish updating what I did. Um, I did some of the papers. Um, I did not put the links in. I can put the all this stuff up here that has, um, what do you call it? Has a number somewhere but not necessarily out yet. I can definitely give you guys the number so when they go live. Um, the dies are all part of that particular set that I used, um, the leaf set. You know, we had that crazy little saying out here because I'd already pre-stamped it. Oops. Huh. Now I got to go back and fix this because I don't know quite how I had it set up. Okay, so we'll go back and fix that. This one goes here. Well, now I'm kind of bothered because I had that. Hmm. All right. Well, when all those sales, we're just going to restamp it because that this is why I cut out twenty thousand of everything so that I can jump in and grab what I need and restamp what I need. So I have to get the peacock out again, guys. So I just took all sorts of random flowers or flowers leaves and just stamped them. I it was like, I want a lot of everything so that I can make choices as I go along. Claire makes it a little bit easier to stamp. And this is going to have... And I am going to do one in the center. And I'll work the rest of my leaves in kind of around this so that it... Ah. Uh, I made like the same... I took the same three small ones and I made 
a bunch of colors of everything. You know what I mean? I just went to town cutting the same thing out. So like there's 20 of these. There's um, mainly because I didn't know what I wanted and I wanted to be able to create a lot of these little together things like this. And I didn't want to have to stop and cut again. I just wanted to keep right on going. If that makes any sense at all. And even like these, I've done, I like I just tore, um, tore them in half. Because the, the, it is so fragile that you don't have to worry about this too much. And then stick them down and have them poke out the different places. And then I have to take, but I wanted to share this with you guys. I just didn't want to do it. Um, so you guys could see what I did. This is going to go up here on top of that. And this is, you know, one of the little three leaves here cut out of one of the pattern papers and you see so you have that big one that goes in the die cut but then you have all these little ones and I just took all four pieces and just cut 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 that's how I did that I I was really worried about not having enough let's see and then I have I'm going to use this one because the red will pop up on that. And what I did here, because I needed to have some extra leaves, is I went through and I just trimmed them up like that. Give myself just a little bit to be able to cut that off. And then I added just some thicker leaves in this, more solid colors. This works really well for scrapbook pages too, for those of you who are my scrappers, to be able to just cut things up like this and create those little bits of, um, I don't know, eye-catching, if you will. Clusters, that's what they were calling them. Oh no, did I get it stuck? Yes, I did. Getting myself stuck. Oh well, I'll worry about that. So I'm currently, because I hate the glue dots that are like this. But I have a bunch of them I need to use. Oh yay for ideas. I'm glad. Because I like to inspire people to create and I love it guys when you guys show me what you actually got created because that's always so fascinating to me how our minds work here you go look at that guys and I'm just going to add this one so that I'm tying in that piece of paper there make sure I haven't missed any there's the next one And slide that into here. Woo. There are two of these. So the you can cut multiples out of one. You can cut two sheets at one time. Just run it through twice. So there I have that done. And then I'm going to turn around and add in sequins. Um, these are also still available. These are their neutral sequins. Ooh. I don't know where I just threw those other things to the side. And I'm going to add these rich brown ones in because I think that really makes that red pop. I'm just going to throw them in anywhere I want here. I just want them to kind of sprinkle. It doesn't hurt to be on top of a leaf. There we go. That's probably not an odd number, but it's still there. And 
I just love that cherry cobbler with that peacock. I just think it's so pretty, you guys. Two down. We're going to have to fix that one. And I think we can fit one more in. What do you guys think? I'll we'll grab this one. I have these now glue dots stuck to my nails. Not very nice of them. This is the um, copper clay, which is a color I would encourage everybody to pick up. But this is one that will go out if I remember everything right. It will go out um, May, I think. Is the new catalog released in May? I can't even remember when the new catalog comes out May or whatever. This is run through that big embossing folder, six by six, and then I cut it down to your four inches by five and a quarter. That folder is absolutely gorgeous. And had I put the die cut into it, it would have cut this out, it would have cut that one out, cut the maple leaf out. Now, one thing I will say about their cardstock is it's heavier. It's really, it's nice cardstock. This paper, unfortunately, is no longer available, which is really sad. I really liked it. And I just put a bit of that plaid because fall is about plaid, right? How many of you guys have flannel shirts you wear during the fall? I know I do. And then this is a piece of that pecan. Huh, what is this? Pecan pie on ribbon. So it's like a cream colored with the, the little pecan um, thread through it. I, again, will advocate to you to use dots for this. I have some of the older ones here that I'm using up. Good confession. Hey, Carolyn, how are you doing today? Have you gotten the new catalog too? I still have to get those other two. We had to get some things fixed on those other two directions and then I get them posted up for everybody. But now how simple is that? You don't have to tie a bow. You don't have to do anything like that. See, just nice and simple. And I grabbed, this was using the embossing folder and the die cuts. And that's just going to kind of float right across there. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And then even then, Bernice, I started um, making things up. <coughs> excuse me and I ended up going back and spending more time die cutting the leaves mainly because with this stuff even if I don't use it on this project I will be able to use it on other projects because you're always adding little leafy things to things I'm not this huge flower person but I sure have decided that I like um, foliage stamps and that and I really think there's a lot of versatility with it and these will be the three cards that we give away we have a bunch of people on today so we'll have to do our 1 to 30 game here and we will give where did my other stuff go hmm. here we go not. Oops, we're going to do this this way. This is going to go like this. And before I get down, get into here, I still think I'm going to stick with the purple. I think it's really pretty. I'm going to offset that. Hmm. Run me a tiny glue dot. I'm going to wear more glue dots than I am going to have them on the stuff here. And I know that I'm going to put my sentiment across the top of that, so I'm not super worried about what's happening here. And I did try to sort these out into the different shapes so that I could just find a shape easy. 
And I have two on this. Put one back. I love flannel. I do. And I'm always cold, as I can tell you. I am always, always cold. So I love having flannels to put on. Uh-oh, you know what? I'm going to need to change that. You can already tell. And then we're going to add some more of these beautiful sequins and this copper tone that matches this oxidized copper so well. Because I want this to go up like that. There we go. Yay. See, and this is like, I really, I, the thing that I struggled the most with is that not covering this paper up. There's a lot of gorgeous paper here that I use that it is truly gorgeous, but um, you have to be careful to show it off, but not have it dominate, and then not to want to cut it all up, you know. Yeah, it was really a challenge at times to be able to put these together. And down here. So please love and share this video. I'm going to be doing a referral game here when people invite to join the group again, try and build our membership, but um, replace a bunch of the customers that I lost this with this swappy swap thing. So here we go. We have one. We have number two. Like I said, I do need to take pictures of these and my garage is under dust up here. So this was the first one we did. This was the second one and this is the third one. And go ahead and give me some numbers, if you will, guys. Um, between 1 and 30, closest to without going over, so you can get it. If you win, you get to pick out. Um, all mail is caught up. So yay for me, having it caught up. On Thursday, everybody was a winner. 26th. Can you guys believe it's the 26th? So Grace starts school tomorrow. 13. Okay. H13 die is three. Wait, nine is die. Sue is three. You're going to pass. Okay. And Jenny Moore is 23. Bernice is 26. Anybody else on here? JM for Jenny Moore. Bernice. Maybe. Anybody else on here? I think I have eight. One, two. You'll pass the word. Thank you so much, Bernice. I appreciate it. One, two, three, four, five. I have eight people, guys. Is there anybody else that's going to throw your name into the hat? Carolyn. Um, I got Sue, Bernice. Okay, going once. Going twice. All right, again, gone. Sue, you are a winner. Who is closest to... Regina is a winner. Not tonight, got it. And it looks like Jenny Moore is a winner. Nobody is on the nose, so it will be a surprise for what you get. So I have Sue, Regina, and Jenny Moore. Please private message me your um, mailing addresses and you will get a surprise in the mail come back on thursday because we're going to do a leaf using this changing leaves and i'll get on and i'll put all the rest of the um links on there for you we're going to do the changing leaves with uh, making a scrapbook page with flip flaps as well as a shaker card using a flip flap so that you guys know um, how to use those if you haven't been for a little bit and uh, don't forget, guys, if you had, there is stuff on Tuesday. 
I think there's a class on Tuesday. So if you got the, whoops, guys, hang on just for a second. If you got a kit, you should have gotten an email this weekend telling you about a class. And I believe the class is on, sorry, I have to pull up my calendar right quick. Is it tonight? It is um, Tuesday. Today is Monday. So it is Tuesday night. Tomorrow night, there is a class. Ooh, it's fun. It's great. So there is a class. If you got last month's um, card kit, you need to show up for that, okay? I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye now.